Hi, this is Bala Reva. Welcome to Bala Reva EE Path YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to manage the header and footer in MS Word using UE Path Studio. That means we are going to see how to insert the header and footer and how we are going to read the header and footer. Finally, how we are going to remove or delete the header and footer in Microsoft Office Word using UE Path Studio. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Never miss the update. Your subscription makes me to create more videos and components. First, we have to install the package. Go to the manage and packages and click connect and type balareva.word and select the package and install it. When you navigate in the activities panel, you can able to see the Bala Reva word and after that all the activities and here you can able to see the page header and footer. First you drag the word application scope and here you have to select the file. But we don't have the file so we are going to create the file. So I'm going to specify the path here. The file name is test. DOCX and use the create document activity so it will create the document automatically and after that I'm going to add three pages so to add the page you have to use the add page break activity so one two three by default it has one page and after that I have added three pages so totally we have four pages so I'm going to insert the header and footer so we are going to use the same activity to insert the header and footer only thing is in the insert type you have to use header or footer you're going to add or not so before that let me show you a sample so I'm going to open a word Normally we add the header here. Here you have a two things. You have to look at two things. The one is different first page. That means if you want to provide a different header and footer for the first page, you have to select this option. The next one is the normal one. If you want to add odd page and even page different text, you can able to give it. These two things I have provided here. When you go here, see the even page text and first page text and odd page text. First we are going to see how we are going to add a common header for all the pages. In this case, we have to give a common text for all three properties. Common header. Here I have added some future to decorate the header text. If you want to make a bold, you can able to use this property and you can able to increase the size. The thing is I'm going to make it as a bold and the font size I'm going to give 17 and italic, yes it is an italic and strike out, no I don't want to strike out and I'm going to use the different font name. I'm going to use the different font, it's Arial Nova. It is left alignment. Yes, I'm going to do a underline. So these properties I have added. So it will help you to decorate the text. Okay. And also I'm going to add a footer. The same. Just I'm going to change here as a footer. And the text is footer. Footer. And this one is footer. And this one is footer. Rest of the things are the same. Okay. I'll close this one. So let me execute the process. It's finished. Let us check the document to refresh this one yes we have a test document 
see it has a common header for all the pages header and footer all pages are having the common header and footer and also it is see arial nova the font size is 7 and it's bold italic and underline okay so king well. so next we are going to see how to add a different text for the first page and even page and odd page okay so i'm going to give a header as a first page okay and header for the even page and here for odd page rest of the things are the same i'm going to do the same for the footer also this is for even page and footer for the first page and footer for the odd page rest of the things are the same and I'm going to delete the file so let me execute the process it's finished let us check the result See this is first page header and first page footer and this is even page that means in the second page and the second page footer that means even footer even page and see the odd page header and odd page footer. So this is the way you can able to insert the header and footer. Next we are going to see how to read the header and footer text. I am going to comment all these activities and here you have an activity called read header footer i'm going to read the header and this is an array string array so here you have to assign the array string variable so press ctrl k and also i'm going to read the footer so let me do a loop to show the result this is for header so we can use the right line activity i'm going to specify the header text i'm going to use the same right line here here arr header and in the type of argument you have change it as string okay next we are going to show the footer texts to the copy paste of this one and here we can change as arr footer yes that's all okay let me execute the process finished let us check the result here and first the header text so first it read the odd page and first page and even page the same order in the footer odd page first page and even so this is the order it reads the header and footer sometimes if we have a common header and footer how we can able to handle this one so let me come and no we can keep this one and i'm going to enable this one and in the header i'm going to use common and the footer also we're going to use the common footer now we have common header and footer so let me delete the file so i'm going to execute 
again it is finished let us check the result see the header text here also we have a three times but it's a common header it should come only once in this case you have to use the distinct function from link use the assign activity and here the same array header and here array header dot distinct of dot to array and the same as footer so already i commented the create document so again we are going to read the header and footer so let me execute the process okay good let us check the result see now we have only one header and only one footer so if we have a common text you can able to manage using the link function and finally we are going to see how to delete the header and footer so i'm going to comment all these things now we have to use the remove header and footer first i'm going to remove only header so let me execute the process okay let us check the result see here we don't have the header but we have the footer because we didn't remove the footer so now i am going to remove the footer just select footer and execute the process it's finished let us check the result so we don't have header and footer so this is the way you can able to manage the header and footer in microsoft office word using uepath studio thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon never miss the update your subscription makes me to create more videos and components